learned a good amount of information about disc manufacturers ever since I started doing these reviews. I'm here at my local park with my son and getting some daddy time in and it got me thinking it's pretty natural for us as human beings to want to belong to a group and it's important for us to have that acceptance uh, to be able to offer something to the group and be able to receive something back from that group and ultimately it just comes down to, to love. Uh, ultimately it comes down to can I get attention and give attention to a group of human beings that share similar um, likes and interests as I do. Disc golf is the same way. I myself was caught up uh, in the same thing. In fact, before I started doing reviews of all the different best beginners discs for each manufacturer, I really had only thrown a couple different discs from a couple different manufacturers. I'd thrown Innova, I learned about dynamic discs online, and then ever since I learned about dynamic discs, really, I, I went kind of uh, fanboy and just started buying everything dynamic disc. I mean, I bought a, a marksman basket, I got a ranger bag, I've got the metal mini marker, I've got, I had at one point 90% of my bag was dynamic discs and uh, trilogy discs and uh, it wasn't until I started, like I said, making these videos that I started seeing the value of trying other manufacturers. Imagine if I asked you to build a house and I said, I want the best constructed house possible. I'm gonna give you all the best materials. I'm gonna give you the best plan, the layout. I'm gonna give you everything you need necessary to build a perfect home with one condition. I only want you to use these tools in this chest. Now, let's say the tools were enough to get the job done, but they weren't quite the best tools. You sacrificed the best tools because you were given you weren't given an opportunity otherwise. Now, imagine that applying that to disc golf. I'm not saying that you don't have a well-constructed bag. I'm not saying that it doesn't work for you right now. You may be 100% dynamic disc or 100% MVP or, or uh, Innova, any of the above. You may be all of that and, and, um, and feel really comfortable and confident with the bag that you have. But what I'm saying is you may be in a situation to improve a couple of those shots or a couple of those discs if you are willing to step out of your comfort zone just a little. New people especially I think are privy to this because we find a couple of you know superstars when you start getting to disc golf I mean like not just going with your friends who pull you along every once every month uh, I'm talking about like seriously in the disc golf you start looking up YouTube videos you find this video you find other people who make videos about disc golf and you're starting to learn you're you're fi figuring out who the pros are who the best are and you find a pro and you say wow I want to be like Paul Macbeth for instance and so you know in order to do that he throws in of a maybe I should just find out exactly what's in his bag watch that video make my bag exactly like his and I'll be having success the way he does and you know the reality is is it it doesn't matter what discs you throw it, practice more practice and more practice is the only thing that separates those who are having fun in this game and those who really want to compete and, and improve and progress along. So what I found by venturing out is I found some discs that already did the same thing that uh, I had another disc do. For instance, I had a Latitude 64 Saint in my bag um, for a very long time because it was a very reliable straight flying fairway driver for me and it wasn't until I did the best beginners disc video on DGA that I realized oh man this pipeline is awesome it does everything the Saint did but had that much more glide and and um, also was a really good disc for me to um, start to learn how to throw a little bit of a distance on a forehand shot because uh, I hadn't had that shot in my bag and anyway so it did everything that the Saint did for me but a little bit more now I'm not saying everyone go out and turn in your Saints and get yourself a DGA pipeline what I am saying is every manufacturer has their strengths Every manufacturer does a couple of things extraordinary. Our job as disc golfers is to hone in on the best 
bag for us, our individual personal games. And to do that, by being willing to explore any and everything that's out there to determine if you've got the absolute best tool for that job in your bag. Now, it's up to each of us to discover what those extraordinary things may be for each company. So for me, it's very easy, right? I get new discs sent all the time and you might not get that, but there are a lot of opportunities for you to try discs. I would start off with my friends, the people I disc off with the most often. If you see that they got something in their bag that you've never thrown before, give it a shot. Now don't get me wrong, being a fanboy isn't completely negative. It's not, I mean, if you can't make a, a active, well-organized bag out of any manufacturer, then, you know, then you got some more learning to do as far as for disc golf goes. What I'm saying is, is that you may be missing out on an opportunity to improve your bag and or your game that much better by being a little bit uh, willing to come out of your comfort zone again. Now, of course, too much of a good thing can be bad, just like any situation. And where it does become negative and bad is where I see people online that stop becoming pro one manufacturer and they start becoming anti all the other manufacturers. You got a real problem that you're going to have to work out internally and personally if you can't see that uh, other people can be fans of other manufacturers just the way that other people drive Fords and you drive a Chevy or someone else drives a Toyota. I mean, the reality is, is that each of us are unique, right? There's 7 billion different people on our planet, uh, which means that there's 7 billion different versions of a disc golf bag. You need to find the best version for you. Be okay with exploring. In fact, I'm gonna give a little incentive for that. What time is it? So for those of you who are willing to step out of your comfort zone with me, I am going to be giving away a brand new disc. Not to be mentioned yet, because I want to see in the comments below what you currently throw. I would like you to leave a comment on my YouTube channel that says hashtag grow the sport, because this is a way of growing the sport, is really exploring the sport as well. And I want you to leave a brief comment about what you throw and why you love that manufacturer and why this particular brand is your go-to brand and gives you the most confidence when you throw. And uh, if for the best comment, I'm going to send you a disc from a manufacturer that hopefully you've never thrown or tried before. As always, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this channel. Infinite Disc, your disc golf superstore. Go in there, put in our discount code to get 5% off your purchase of all your disc golf needs. Go to blenderseyewear.com. These glasses are rad and you can use the Tuck Force One discount code to receive 20% off your purchase. We've got new videos out every week. Have an amazing day.